Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back. It's your girl Jazz and I'm super excited about this review. Mainly because I think I'm I'm thinking, I'm hoping, and I'm really keeping my fingers crossed that this is as great of an investment as I'm hoping it is. Because let's face it, I think we're all getting baked. Um, somebody just turned on the sun to broiling because at this point I can have my AC as low as it can go and I'm still sitting here feeling like I'm melting. <laughs> Luckily right now the sun's not out so that's part of the reason why I'm in a, I'm in a pretty good mood because I'm not cooking and my makeup's not melting off my face. So today we are reviewing the Arctic Air Tower. So I've already reviewed the Arctic Air Freedom, which is the neck, I guess, personal cooling unit. Um, then I also have reviewed years ago the Arctic Air and the Arctic Air Ultra. This year I've also, okay, pretty much I've covered everything Arctic Air at this point, it seems like. <laughs> there may have been a few other things that I may have missed here and there. But the most recent one was the Arctic Air Pure Chill. And it was just a little personal unit. So... Part of the reason why I'm hoping and keeping my fingers crossed with this one is because it's supposed to be able to cool down a larger area. And right now it's currently on the floor and it's right, maybe a couple of inches right above the, the desk. <clears throat> and that's in the box, of course, you know that there's going to be packing on both sides. We're hopefully going to be able to get a good view of it on camera. We've got our lovely co-host, Monger, who is going to hopefully keep y'all entertained for a couple of seconds while I <laughs> try and open this box. <laughs> Are you telling everybody hi, Monger? No. You just want to be in the way, don't you? Isn't it so entertaining, you guys? <laughs> We all knew that me pulling that out of the box was not going to be anywhere near graceful. <laughs> also, if you hear a loud thud, all of a sudden, that's probably Monger going down the well of a box over here. <laughs> so we've got a couple of pieces. I'm guessing this is part of the base or the top or some part of it. I'm not sure exactly where. I will also be laying it flat so you can get a better view of what it looks like as a whole. Since, unfortunately... You can't really see it completely while it's sitting here on the desk. I have to give credit to Arctic Air because they're taping everything up to make sure everything stays in place. Positive whenever you're, it's in transit, but uh, it's like for us when we're trying to open it. Now, I know I've had a couple of comments on past Arctic Airs where people were complaining that it's it's not cool enough, it doesn't keep a room cool, blah, 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 all sorts of things like that. One thing a lot of people aren't realizing is that it's a personal cooling unit. It's not supposed to cool off an entire room unless it's probably the size of a little kid's playhouse. Like, it's going to be that small of an area. It's, I mean, even with this little small area that I have right now, because I could probably... No, I probably couldn't. I'm not that tall. I, I tried to, I'm trying to see how far, if I could actually lay from end to end, but I realize I'm only 5'3 and I'm short. <laughs> so I probably can have maybe one and a quarter of me touch from both sides. So to give you an idea of how small this area is. Also, what you guys don't see behind you is there's a big old whole open living room back there. So even if I were to think that it would cool the small little space here it wouldn't because I still have that in the back so the air the heat that's coming from over there which is usually the sun that likes to cook me in the living room um, it still wouldn't have any type of effect unless like I'm literally sitting right in front of it so hopefully this will give us more cooling versus keep a whole room cool versus just a little personal AC unit which I have tried sleeping with them on night and it's not too bad as long as it's right, you know, directly facing you, you know, kind of in your face, you know, air, which isn't the best for me after I've had eye surgery a couple of times. So I can actually see properly. Um, my eyes tend to dry at night, so I can't have, you know, fans blowing my face. So it didn't really work too much. But hopefully this one won't have to be so close to my face. 
So we're going to go ahead and pre-soak this. Oh, well, it looks like we've got a lot of compartments in here. So I'm trying to open this, but obviously there are cords in here. I'm going to turn this to the side for you guys so you can see it a little bit better. Hopefully I don't knock anything over. This is where the filter is. Easy to remove filter. So this is the filter that we're going to soak some water in and to read their instructions while it soaks so that way I can give you guys a little bit better information since I literally just opened it as you guys saw me and give you some better information so I'll be right back you guys as you can see a couple of things have changed over here one of the first things I did was off camera was just simply put the base on and all you have to do is put the two circles together and little pieces that puzzle pieces kind of match together really plain and simple initially I thought I was going to have to disassemble it and you can see here a little bit better on the inside of it there's a bunch of wires and everything like that I thought it was like a battery pack in there and then I'm like okay I gotta take that out before I pour any water in there nope it's all part of it because it's actually screwed in there as you can see from the video over here so we're going to go ahead and first of all I can stop dripping water on my table because I'm about to put the filter back in. One of the downsides about this, first of all, is the fact that I don't have anything that's really long enough to be able to soak this, for, especially for long term. This is probably the closest that I've got. I may have some longer boxes that may be a little bit too ginormous for it. Uh, I'm talking about those big old giant tubs you know for storage and everything but this is the only thing I have right now that was easy to grab so you can also freeze these too to kind of add some more coolness to the area that you're trying to cool Let's get this in and then we need the filter cover thing whatever you want to call it <coughs> All right, so now that's put together, I'm going to go ahead and plug it in because it does state to plug it in and then fill it up, not fill it up and then plug it in. Body that's sitting there, no, you're just gonna put it in water for a bowl. I'm reading, the, I read the instructions for once, okay? I know what I'm talking about, to a degree. <laughs> so I plugged it in and I'm about to fill it up with my pitcher. This does not open very widely. And also, I do notice that the water from the filter is dripping into here. So be careful with that, you guys. Alright, so the, it does mark the maximum and the minimum on both sides, so it doesn't matter how you pour. We're going to be able to see it and not overfill like I would probably do. Luckily, I don't have enough water to fill it up the entire way. So it's about maybe two thirds of the way full. So it does take a little bit of pressure, unless mine's just off center, which it's very possible for it to be off center because of me. It's just my luck there. Artigar, I appreciate the invention of this tower, but I'm gonna need a remote with it because I don't wanna have to keep climbing especially during a review, to be able to trust, press the power buttons. <laughs> Clearly, I didn't think this one through because I'm not much of a planner as it is. <laughs> All right, guys, I told you guys I'm short. So this is probably really awkward right now, but I'm a, I want you guys to hear the difference between high, medium, and low on here. It starts out at high, so I'm gonna turn it off again. So this is on high. I'm not sure how well it'll pick up on camera versus me. I am sick. I am standing behind the fan, so you might be able to hear the fan more than me. All right, we're going to hit it on medium now. So this is medium. 
and this is low. So I'm going to sit down now so I can be somewhat normal. <laughs> I've been sitting here for a few minutes trying to determine on what, how I feel about it. And so pretty much about my eye level is where the air should stop hitting me, but I actually feel it all from probably my, my chest up. So it does have more of a, a little bit of a downward blowing air. It's actually very comforting and cool. Now I do know that I had the fan blowing on me during the beginning half of the review. So when I was taken out of the box and everything like that, I did have a regular fan blowing on me. The Arctic air does have colder air blowing on me. I don't have, I don't know where, what happened to my little temperature gauge. So unfortunately I can't give you an exact temperature or even an approximate temperature on how cold the air is, but it is cooler than just a regular fan. I will say that much. And I'm going to test it out for about a week. So I'm going to have it, you know, sleeping with it, or actually I'm going to have it on 24 seven as long, as much as I can. <laughs> So it does run up to 16 hours, of course, depending on the level and how much water you fill it up with, because I did not fill it up all the way. So I know if I even had that mentality of it lasting 16 hours, it ain't gonna happen because I didn't put enough water in it. I know that right off the bat. <laughs> but um, the rest of the week, I will have it, you know, at night, I will definitely have it on me if I'm, you know, in the office or somewhere where I don't have regular AC or um, a fan blowing on me. More than likely, I'm going to have this unit pretty much glued to me otherwise. Um, I'm going to try to have the filter put in the freezer before I go to bed to see if it adds any extra coolness to it and how what if it makes a difference or anything like that. So I'm going to kind of test out a couple of different ways of using this and give you the best advice after I've used it for maybe about a week or so. So make sure that you subscribe so you can get an update on how well this works for me. If you have any other questions as well, I can easily answer those or, you know, drop it on this video. So that way, whenever the update comes on, you guys can know, or I can answer those questions for you, should I say. Now, I'm pretty sure you're curious about the price of it. I did look online right before this video and Weirdly enough, the main place that I found out was Bed Bath & Beyond, and it was $100 there, but they did have, you know, of course, they're always having deals going on, coupons and things like that, so I'm pretty sure you can find it cheaper. Um, I think I've covered everything. Like I said, if I have not, please drop your questions down below, so that way next week I can answer them as much as I can. And you can also check me out on other social medias. I've got TikTok, Instagram, YouTube, Instagram, TikTok. I think that might be it. <laughs> if not, more than likely, I'm probably on there too somewhere. But if you want to see more of me, go ahead and subscribe. I also have my other YouTube channel, Jazzy Foods. So in the meantime, stay tuned and stay jazzy. Thanks for watching, guys.